Hey everyone, welcome back. Since COVID, a lot of companies have switched to the remote work model, which obviously has so many pros for people across the board, but it also allows the company to hire talented people from abroad, expanding their pool of candidates. Now, if you're one of those people working remotely and you use remote desktop protocol or RDP software to access company data, you should know that there are a lot of security risks that come with that, like falling victim to RDP credential theft or data interceptions from people with bad intentions, etc. So this is where a VPN, aka virtual private network, comes in handy. So you'll be able to encrypt your data and make sure that no one on your network, not even your ISP, will get a hold of what you're doing online. So this video will be about my top three VPNs for remote work, and I'll go over what each of them brings to the table so that you can see what they have to offer and which one you might prefer. But if you want to follow along with me, the links to each of them, including full details and discounts, are in the description below. All right, so my first recommendation for remote work is gonna be NordVPN. It's gonna be the best option, especially if you don't already use any remote desktop software to transfer company data. So it's mainly because of this feature Nord has called MeshNet, which allows you to safely access devices remotely over its encrypted network. Basically, once it's set up, it functions just like a local area network, linking you directly to whichever remote device you wanna to connect to. This makes it a great option for activities that require high speed, low latency, and advanced security for file sharing or active work collaborations and even multiplayer gaming. Besides MeshNet, Nord also has a kill switch that immediately terminates your internet connection should you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server for whatever reason. So by doing this, the kill switch would prevent any of your data from leaking over to your ISP or anyone snooping on your network. Additionally, Nord has an app kill switch, which functions the same way as the conventional kill switch, except it shuts down like the app of your choice instead of terminating your entire internet connection. Another useful feature Nord has is threat protection, which is basically a mini antivirus that blocks malware-ridden websites, ads, and trackers, and it'll also block malicious files from being downloaded on your device. And this is great because it can protect you from any phishing attempt aiming to steal your company data and would ward off any type of adware you might come across from websites. There's also Dark Web Monitor, which basically scans the dark web for anything related to your identity so that you can you know, take action quickly. Now, it doesn't seem to be directly related to remote work, but it does help you protect work email and phone numbers from, say, being shared on people's search websites and the like. Besides that, Nord has a bunch of specialty server options, such as DoubleVPN, which routes your internet connection through two servers instead of one for double the encryption. Onion over VPN servers are optimized for torrenting, and you can even purchase your own dedicated IP server, like as an add-on if you want an IP address that's just for you. It's also worth noting that Nord's good at consistently accessing streaming services like Netflix or Disney Plus, and thanks to their huge list of 118 countries and counting, there are a lot of libraries in these places to choose from. Now, aside from all the features, Nord prides itself in their strict no logs policy, which has been audited by Deloitte. Not to mention they operate on RAM only servers, meaning that they have no way to store or share your data. So NordVPN is a great option for remote work because it's a well-rounded value VPN that's extremely fast. And I especially recommend it if you don't already have a remote desktop app, since the MeshNet feature makes working from home much easier and more secure. If you do have a remote desktop application or RDP and you're looking for the most secure VPN to protect your work info, then I would recommend my go-to ExpressVPN. Now, similar to NordVPN, Express has a strict no logs policy and they operate on RAM only servers and their policy has also been audited several times by independent firms such as Cure53, which means that you can trust it with your data just like NordVPN. But Express took it even further by being subjected to an investigation by the Turkish government that seized one of their servers, but they found nothing of use on that server because Express doesn't store any data either. So this incident alone made ExpressVPN the most secure VPN on the market. Now, as far as features go, ExpressVPN has all the essentials such as the kill switch, which was mentioned earlier, but it also has split tunneling, which allows you to choose which apps go through the VPN tunnel and which ones use your regular connection. So for example, if you know that your RDP is secure and you don't want it to be protected by the VPN, you can use your regular network for the RDP and Express for everything 
anything else, you don't want the RDP to see if it's the tracking type. Alrighty, so as far as protocols go, there are a couple, but the most important one is lightweight UDP because it's the fastest performing option, meaning that in speed drop tests, it did very well and only Nord beat it sometimes. Other than that, the threat manager feature is actually kind of multi-purpose because it'll block ads, trackers, and malware written websites. And you can also use it as sort of like a parental control because you have an option to block all adult websites as well. Now Express deliberately stays away from features that most beginners and intermediate users won't use. And that's in order to make their application like as streamlined as possible. But that's one of my favorite things about Express because it feels very intuitive and fast and clear and feels really integrated into my setup here. ExpressVPN doesn't really need any of the specialty servers anyway, since all 3,000 of their servers are already optimized for pretty much anything, including streaming, torrenting, and gaming. So if you're looking for the most secure VPN on the market that has all the VPN essentials and is as plug and play as it can get, I highly recommend you go for ExpressVPN. But for my final recommendation here, we have Surfshark, which is the least expensive out of the three. But that doesn't mean that Surfshark sacrifices security or performance, because it still offers a bunch of bonus features like specialty servers, servers, web protection, and an ad blocker. But aside from these features, Surfshark also has the essentials like the kill switch and split tunneling we talked about earlier. And it also has a feature called no borders mode, which turns on automatically anyway, the second it senses any restrictions on your network. It immediately will connect you to the closest obfuscated server so that none of your data or activity gets leaked. So as you can see, Surfshark holds up to Nord when it comes to features. Now, although it's not typically as fast as Nord or Express, it's still pretty fast and does better than most VPNs on the market. They have 3,200 servers across 100 countries, so you can pretty much access any content you might want from around the world. I think the thing that makes Surfshark popular is that they allow you to add however many devices to one subscription as you want, as opposed to Nord's 10 device limit and ExpressVPN's 8 device limit. So it's the perfect option if you're looking for a quality, low budget VPN that gets the job done at the best possible cost while still being secure and having good features, but you can also let everyone in your life onto your subscription. Overall, I would personally recommend NordVPN simply because it has the MeshNet feature which will give you the encrypted remote access and just makes things very convenient. But if you already have your RDP set up and you're looking for a secure VPN, you also have ExpressVPN and Surfshark which prove to be very good because they're super quick, reliable, and convenient. So if you're specifically looking for the most secure and easiest to use of the three, I recommend you go for Express. And if you're looking for the most budget-friendly option, you can go for Surfshark. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for for watching. I hope I helped you get an idea about how a VPN can be helpful for working remotely. Remember to use the links in the description to get the best price on these VPNs and check out the full reviews as well if you want to know more. Besides that, like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.